In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a web-based 3D gallery for your models that's interactive, that allows you to create an online portfolio for your work. Press X to delete the cube. Add Mesh Monkey. Click the Object Properties button. I'm going to create an animation by inserting two keyframes. My rhyme for inserting keyframes is go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame, go to frame one, I'm in frame one. Make change, set the Z rotation to zero, it's already zero. Insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Set the total length of the animation to 90 frames. Go to frame, go to frame 90. Make change, set the Z rotation to 360. Insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Change the window to a graph editor. In the view menu, view all. In the key menu, interpolation mode, set it to linear and change the window back to 3D view. I'm going to compare making the head spin in the Blender game engine to making the head spin using Blend for Web. Change to the Blender game engine and change the layout to game logic. Add an always sensor and an action actuator. Click on the action field when I inserted the keyframes, Blender created an action taking the name of the action from the name of the object. Set the start frame to 1, set the end frame to 90. Change play to loop end and connect those up. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, press P to play the game engine and the head spins around. Press escape to stop the game engine. That's how it's done in the game engine. I'm going to do Ctrl and C to copy the name of the action. Then I'm going to delete the logic bricks, set the layout back to default and rewind. To do the same in Blend for Web, change to Blend for Web, drag to make the bottom window bigger, change it to a node editor window, click the scene properties button, tick logic editor, click the plus to add a new logic node tree, click the blend for web logic node button, click the browse button, select the blend for web logic node tree and zoom in with the mouse wheel. In the add menu animation play animation, place the node and connect the nodes up. Click on the object field and select Suzanne. When you click on the animation name field, the action isn't listed. You have to type it in, but I've still got it in the clipboard, so I'm going to do Control and V. Change the behavior to loop. With the game engine, we press P to start the game engine runtime. With Blend for Web, click Fast Preview and the code is exported and loaded into a browser and the object spins. How do we make two objects spin? Add mesh cube and move the cube to the side. In the node editor window, press A twice to select all nodes. In the node menu, duplicate and click to place the duplicates. Change the object to the cube we don't need to set up keyframes for the cube. The Z rotation action can be applied to any object. Click Fast Preview. And we get two spinning objects. Next, I'm going to set up logic nodes that will allow the user to start and stop animations. Press X to delete the cube. With the mouse pointer in the node editor window, press X to delete the nodes. Move the play animation node to make room for a new node. To make the scene interactive, add control flow switch select. Place the node on the link and Blender will automatically link up the nodes. In the object field, select Suzanne. 
Now when we click Fast Preview, the head doesn't spin until we select it by clicking on it. I'm going to make the scene more interactive. After you have clicked to start the spin, I'm going to add logic to click and stop the spin. Before I add the nodes, I'm going to add Layout Reroute and place the rerouter and connect the output from the mist to the rerouter and connect the rerouter to the input to the node. A miss is a click anywhere not on the object. The loop back makes sure the node continues to listen to clicks in case they are a hit. Drag to select both the rerouter and the switch select node. Duplicate, hold down shift and press D and place the duplicate. Because the behaviour of the animation node is set to loop, the logic will stay in the node forever unless you tick do not wait. Connect the nodes up. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Control and mouse wheel to move sideways. Shift and mouse wheel to move up. Add animation, stop animation. Place the node and connect it up. And in the object field, select Suzanne. Add layout reroute. And connect the rerouter back to the start. Now when we click Fast Preview, we can start and stop the animation. Next, I'm going to add a ground plane and two cylinders to act as plinths. I'm scaling the ground plane by a factor of 8. I have jumped ahead and set the Y location of the cylinder to 4, the Z location to 2 and the Z scale to 2. Duplicate, Shift D and Enter and set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 4. Select the monkey head, set the Y location to 4, set the Z location to 6. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, set the Z rotation to 90. In the object menu, apply rotation. File, append. Go to the folder where you have your model. You can use my Coke can to practice. Click on the file to go into it. Go into the object folder. Unfortunately, I didn't give the Coke can a meaningful name. Select the cylinder and click append. Make sure the Coke can is selected and give it a more meaningful name. And change shading to material. Press S to scale, 0.66 and enter. Set the Y location to minus four and the Z location to 6. To set the coke can at an angle, set the X rotation to minus 30 and in the object menu, apply rotation. With the mouse pointer in the node editor window, press A twice to select all. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and place the duplicate. Change all the Suzannes to coke. The Suzanne action stays as it is. Change the view to the right view. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view. Select the camera, click its object data properties, set sensor to vertical, set the Z target location to two. Click Fast Preview and hopefully we can start and stop the animation for both objects. Click the World Properties button, tick Render Sky, click the Horizon color and set the red to 0.2, the green value to 0.3 and the blue to 0.4. In the File menu, Export, Blend for Web HTML, click the Export button, 
and upload the HTML file to your web server. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial and the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.